Hello guys, if you have been following my channel, then you might have noticed that I interviewed Maxim Lebon few days ago and that was a blast of an interview. Maxim is one of the most active persons in the field of AI. He has created various models and tools. Recently, he created this tool AutoQuant, which is the evolution of his previous AutoGGUF notebook. It enables you to quantize your models in five different formats. And in this video, I will be showing you one method of quantizing the model in a very, very easy way. So heads off to Maxim for creating this notebook and sharing it with community. Now everyone can do the quantization at least on GGUF because GGUF format requires you uh, a very, very community GPU and you can use it on Google Colab's free T4 GPU. But for the other formats, you would need at least A100 GPU, which is quite expensive. But if you have it, uh, Maxim already has this auto quant for you. Now, there are four formats which you can use, um, or five, should I say. So, the first is GGUF, as you see. So, that is perfect for inference on CPUs and, of course, LMU. And GPTQ and EXL2, which is good for fast inference on GPUs. And then we have AWQ, which is super fast inference on GPUs with VLLM. And then we have HQQ, which offers extreme quantization with decent 2-bit and 3-bit models. I have covered all of these quantization formats in my channel. If you are interested, you can search it out. Now, once the model is converted and quantized, it this notebook enables you to automatically upload it on the Hugging Face Hub. So you would need a write and read token from Hugging Face. Also, as I mentioned earlier, if you are just looking to quantize a 7 billion parameter size model in GGUF format, all you need is a T4 GPU, which comes free with Google Colab, but other methods require an A100 GPU. Okay, now having said that, let's go to our Google Colab and then let's try to quantize one 7 billion model in the GGUF format. So let me log into my notebook. This is the notebook I will be using. Let's go to runtime, click on change runtime type and T4 GPU, click save. Now the one thing you would need is a Hugging Face token. So go to Hugging Face website, huggingface.co. On the top right, click on the profile picture, click on settings. And then on the left hand side, click on access tokens. Now you can create a new token or if you want you can use the existing one let me create a new one because i already have used this ones maybe i'll just delete my this token and then create a new token and i'll just call it auto font i'll make it right and generate token now let's click on copy go back to our google colab click on this key icon on the left i will save it as a secret I'll just call it hf underscore token and let's paste the value here and that's it so it should be good as you can see it has been saved and you can access it like this which we will be doing shortly so our runtime is set our hugging post face token is set let me now put in the code from the maxims web uh, notebook here so now you can see that because it has it he is using markdown so it has become quite easy in order to use it now this is just using my own username so we just need to change it here as you can see so i will and in order to get your hugging page username all you need to do is to go there and you can see my username is Fahad Mirza C. and we already have saved our sorry we already have saved our hugging face token so i have changed the name to my own username here and on the left hand side you can see all we are doing it we are specifying model id username and then i'm using the zebra fish 7 billion by uh, maxim and i already have done a video on zebra fish if you are interested and then i am uh, installing some of the prerequisite libraries also cloning the model and then we are just using our hugging face uh, token here so let's run it 
and you can see that it has started cloning the zebrafish model here so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take a bit of a time and now notebook is asking me to grant access to the secret so let's give grant and you can see that model is loaded now you can also check it by clicking on this folder icon and there we have our zebrafish model present okay now once that's done the next step we need to do is to do the uh, actual quantization in a DGF format or we could simply use it um, with the quantization method so let me first paste the whole code and I will then show you what exactly we are doing so let me add the cell here and again I am going to just paste the markdown from Maxim because it makes it so easy there you go so what is happening here is we are just specifying the quantization format as u5km if you don't know what these are i have a separate video where i described all of these quantization levels so you can change it you can go with um, ks or q1 q2 now once that's done we are simply downloading llama.cpp and then some other libraries we are just using llama gablas for gpu and then installing all the requirements we are using floating point 16 um, for this one because that just halves the memory and all other requirements and then we are quantizing the model by using glama.cpp and we are specifying a quantization method so we can specify more than one but for this one we are just using one and then we are using um, creating the model card by using model card dot load and all that auto font and GDUF format also create the readme after uh, you know creating it and then we are creating the repo with the username and all that stuff and then uploading it and of course you can change the name as you like or uh, so but i'm not going to change it uh, just as a credit to maxim i'm just going to keep everything as is and let run it So let's wait for it to finish it will take a bit of a time and while it is running let me give you a very quick two-liner introduction around quantization ai model quantization is a technique we use to reduce the computational and memory requirements of deep learning models by representing the model parameters using fewer bits this process involves converting high precision weights and activations into lower precision values typically 8-bit integers or even fewer bits while minimizing the impact on model accuracy so that is what we are doing here and it is progressing well as you can see doing a lot of stuff here so let's wait for it to finish and as far as ggf file format is concerned it is simply a binary file format which is used to store and load model weights for the ggml library and ggf uh, also stores models for inference with ggml and executors based on the ggml let's wait for this one to finish it is still progressing as you can see for the last almost 10 minutes and on the right hand side you can also see your resource consumption in terms of ram gpu ram and disk so it should be finished soon because almost 231 out of 291 are done it'll take too long now quantization is done and my disk is also almost full but anyway and you can see that it took this much time in quantization and now it is creating the readme which has been done and then the next step would be to upload the model to the hugging base and once it finishes we will check it out the model has been done and it has been uploaded to my hugging face and it has also given us the url directly uh, to that page so let's click on it and then you can see that this is my hugging face repository in my own github repo where i have this zebra page 7 billion gguf let's click on model card and you can uh, put in more detail and these are files and versions where it will show you the size of the file which is just 5.13 gig it has reduced the size of the model of course 
So that's it guys, really heads off to Maxim for creating this auto account and as I mentioned you can create it with GTUF, GPTQ, Xlama V2 which is EXL2, AWQ and HQQ which is extreme optimization. I will drop the link to his uh, notebook in video's description, try it out, let me know what do you think. If you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.